Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, interesting uh, little story that is um, released. According to a security researcher at VirusTotal, uh, a exploit can still be done using the Spectre uh, flaw in processors. So if we go back in time three years ago in January of 2018, we woke up in early January with a, a pretty amazing find that all the processors we were been using by Intel and AMD and now it's been of course even uh, used against uh, um, ARM processors and so on had flaws that actually made it possible for an attacker to steal information on PCs and on devices. It affects every operating system and of course, over time, we had mitigation that came in effect. Now, no fix, because this is impossible to fix. It's at a hardware level, and the way that it's done, you can't really fix it. But you have mitigation that's been put in place. So uh, Intel and AMD sent out microcode to uh, mitigate, which means that lower the chances that something can happen. And Windows, of course, has mitigation issues that have been implemented within Windows. And, um, well, the browsers also, Google Chrome and, and so on, all have mitigation effects in the browser. So these are different layers of making it more difficult. So each layer of mitigation is an, a little step further making it difficult, but not necessarily impossible. The uh, researcher at VirusTotal has actually discovered that uh, although difficult to exploit, there is still a way to actually um, steal information and steal data from uh, computers. Linux, Mac, and Windows, uh, everybody is affected. And, uh, you know, when I say viruses, um, vir antiviruses are, are kind of useless in many cases. Well, here's one. The data stolen, and no antivirus knows about that. It's a way of actually getting the information from the processor level with some of the flaws. And of course, there was a proof of concept showing how it works, and it shows that uh, everybody could be at risk. But the good news is that, of course, with all the mitigation, it's extremely difficult. There was no real exploit in the wild that I've been seen, but there are toolkits that have been found. Uh, but in order for that to work, it is very difficult. So if you see or read anything about the Spectre um, flaw and the security researcher that found um, an exploit there, keep in mind that unless you are living the dangerous life of downloading illegal software, there is really not much to go crazy about. Uh, this is really a minimal problem. The... Uh, tools that they have found also where there is this uh, data theft and for uh, that that can happen all comes from pirated software so then just tells you that pirated software is a no-no you should never download anything pirated because you don't know what's in there uh, a lot of people get um, you know pirated software and don't even know they're being uh, you know spied on and that data can be to stolen because they think they're safe and they think it's all right. And most people that download illegal software have no idea what they're doing uh, in general, except just downloading software that has security flaws everywhere. So don't, um, you know, there's no problem for most users. Uh, it's a question, once again, of being careful what you do on the, uh, on the computer and uh, on the software that you use. So uh, it's interesting, but uh, I think this uh, Spectre and, and the other flaw that's called Meltdown, uh, even though mitigated, will be haunting our devices for years to come. Um, but at least um, it's making it more and more difficult over time to exploit. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.